Welcome, dear friends. We have come to a time when most of you are wishing to release a lot of past baggage so that ascension will be of ease and possible for you. So I felt this meditation was perfect for this. So please make sure you will not be disturbed and you are alone. This is your healing meditation and all you need to do is to sit comfortably. Legs comfortable, feet on the ground, as best as possible, your back supported. And as many of you are familiar with this process, begin a series of very nice, gentle, deep and relaxing breaths. Inhaling deeply and with every exhalation, feel yourselves allowing yourselves to relax deeper and deeper. Whether your eyes are closed or open, allow your shoulders to relax so all your tensions are simply released like rain falling off the roof, all tensions running off your back and shoulders. Your deep breathing relaxes you more and more, deeper and deeper still. And allow the gentle sensation of relaxation to spread throughout the entire body from the back and the shoulders to the chest down the arms all the way down to the very fingertips and all the way down the body to the lower back and abdomen all the way down all tension just running off your bodies like so much rain off a roof. All the way down the legs, to, down towards the knees, the calves, down to the shins, the ankles, over and under the feet, all the way to the toes, all tension just dripping away, leaving you so that your relaxation can be deeper, even more profound than you've ever allowed it to be. And whilst you are relaxing deeper and deeper and paying attention to the sound of my voice so that you hear all the words Notice, pay attention to the gentle rhythmic beating of your heart. And as you pay attention to the rhythmic beating of your heart, I will count from one to 10. And each number from one to 10 representing a step on stairs. And once we reach 10, you will find yourselves in a very safe, secure place. Now, with your hand on the handrail, we begin down the stairs. One, two, deeper still three and four and just pause a moment on the fourth step and just sense for your witness or observer self that part of you that watches you that looks at your experience of reality and comments on it invite that part of yourself to come and join you down the stairs to be with you 
by your side, down each step with you. Very good, very nice. Now continue. Five, six, deeper yet, seven, eight, very deep now, nine and ten. At the bottom of the stairs, very safe and very secure, listening to the sound of my voice, feeling good about yourself in every way. And from that nice, safe and secure place, we invite you to follow us down another short flight of stairs. And at the bottom of that short flight stairs, it can be a balcony you've always wanted to be on, whether like in a grand old opera house or a Spanish villa or a castle or whatever. But let us go down this short flight of stairs from one to five now. One, two, three, four and five. Very nice and deeply relaxed. More so than before. More so than ever before. And feel free now to step onto this balcony and we invite you to look at a series of events that pertain to your life that you can watch from the balcony as if you are watching perhaps days each depicting various times in your life and know from that balcony you can even invite whatever it is that you determined is your essence, your greatest self, your oversoul to be by your side on the balcony. And with the presence of your essence by your side, allow one scene from your life that may have held for you some emotional pain or challenge of some kind and observe the goings on in this scene. Looking at it from above, as it were, from the balcony, onto whatever stage this scene is playing out. Perhaps there are people involved or situations and you can recognise thus a past self of yours from this lifetime engaged in a scenario where you feel some degree of hurt or pain. And we suggest that you ask your essence or higher self to assist you in directing loving energies, security, a sense of well-being, comfort, appreciation, however you determine and identify it and ask your essence to assist you in directing this healing, salve or ointment of love to the self involved in the scenario on the stage. If you so desire, you may even freeze the scene you are watching from the balcony and direct those loving, soothing, healing energies to the scene below. And if the scene below was perhaps dark, imagine or pretend that within the directing of your healing energies, it may become light now. Vibrant, healing, and let that energy infuse and completely be absorbed. And if you have frozen the frame, unfreeze it now. 
unpause it and observe whatever transformations may have occurred there for you as the scene unfolds now and you are watching from the balcony and after a moment allow that scene to go its own way to evolve and transform as it now has the power to and invite now another scene from your present life and observe it from the balcony look at some of the details observe the people and yourself included and this time ask your essence or higher self to begin assisting you in tapping into an even greater reservoir of healing and loving energies a reservoir of infinite capacity and that the energy, the infinite loving energy begins to pour into you as you are standing on the balcony and it goes through your heart and a beam of loving heart energy flows from this ocean of infinite capacity right through your heart and into the scene so that it becomes transformed that any pain hurt or otherwise becomes transformed that an understanding comes from it that an evolution is the outcome a transformation is the result and all within the scenario is of the energy going through your heart and allow that scene also to continue its way its own way and its own transformations so return again to the balcony with yourself present and higher self and now invite and ask your essence or higher self to assist you in reaching out deep into your memory even if consciously you do not remember any details reach out into your infancy into your birth and even beyond your birth to the womb and regardless of the thoughts that may have been expressed about you and towards you in the very early stages of your infancy or even the stages within the womb and ask your essence or higher self to once again tap deep into that infinite reservoir of universal loving energy into the very fabric of your being let that loving energy well up within you filling you to the very brim until it begins to flow over even and this time instead of directing energies from the balcony ask your essence or higher self to magically transport you to those scenes so that in some form or another tangibly or semi-tangibly the loving energies that saturate and oversaturate your being and flows and is your being and you in that loving energy form can reach out to the very young child or infant and embrace them with the energy caress them with the energy even infuse them with the energy reaching deep into the body of the infant 
into its mind, into your infant mind, even into the fetus, into the womb, reaching its form, reaching your unborn form, reaching deep, deep within the energy idea, reaching deep, deep now, even into the energy idea before you had form. And with that great loving gentleness, tenderness and intent, you illuminate, saturate, infuse the being that you are with deep heartbeat energy. So much heartfelt energy assisting the infinite or the unborn child in understanding that there may be times when there is a tendency to interpret life and living as something to be afraid of. Something that may hurt, but beneath those interpretations, there is something greater still than all those fears, all the worries and concerns, and that is a deep rooted loving energy that stems from the universe itself. Surround the infant or the unborn child with light and loving energy as best you can. Share it from the depth of your heart. Inviting the infant, born or unborn, to view life from a greater perspective, from a deep loving position and allow the warmth of that loving exchange to soothe any thoughts the child born or unborn may have had and invite the child to envision with you a bright, loving, adventurous life. And from your position, imagine or pretend with the child, born or unborn, how this perspective makes life a completely different adventure. That though it may still have challenges, there are many loving tools and resources and a loving attitude to support it. And as this child grows into its future, its life is continuously transformed so that the transformation reaches even you today in this here and now and a deep loving connection is established enhancing a feeling of security of safety of strength Knowing from now on you have the ability to connect with other aspects of your life in such a manner that surely your tomorrows are just as filled with safety, with love, with strength, and that life becomes a wonderful, loving playground that is meant to be. And gently now take leave of the idea of the born or unborn child and ask your essence or higher self now to take you back, back towards the balcony and allow the scene to go into love, to be supported in love. And now thank your higher self or essence for its assistance its loving support and head back now towards the bottom of the first small sta staircase and we will begin going up that small staircase five four three two 
one, heading towards once again that safe, secure place, the bottom of the larger staircase, bringing with you deeply embedded into you the experience you have lived, feeling good about yourselves in every way possible, feeling refreshed, loved and secure. Now with your hand on the handrail, we begin to go back to the top of that staircase. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, be yourselves in every which way, and in a moment we will count to three, and at three you can open your eyes, fully and completely awake and focused into the room you are in. Three, allow all your sensations to return to the body as normal. Two, you may wriggle your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath now and one. Open your eyes fully awake and conscious, aware into the room and know that at any time you can simply give yourself that loving and securing feeling regardless of situations. You can even do so at least once a day in any way you see fit. And now we leave you for a nice little break in silence. And now, it is important to remember that this kind of practice can be utilised when you sense the need for it, and it is well within your own capacity to tap into the greater reservoir of unlimited love for any situation you deem important enough. And the very fact that you are, you are is important enough. We are convinced that it is possible to remind you sufficiently of this and the very fact that you are is important enough. Hope you understand this. Thus, whatever scenario you have created that may entice you to interpret life as sometimes fearful, frightening, painful or otherwise, we urge for you to reconsider the thoughts and the beliefs you're about to instill into life and consider instead that there are alternatives, other ways to interpret and view your experience that you may not yet consider and in doing so you are likely to instill a new behaviour which means that you would be suspending the old behaviour. So stop the behaviour and you begin to change the reality. And the more and the more you do this, the easier it becomes for you to quickly realise within the context of your human experience that truly is what you make of it. You are not fated or destined to behave in a specific manner or to respond or react in a specific way because you have a choice. Your behaviour is not solely determined by the beliefs that you hold, but by your choice in holding on to a specific belief. So this changes the equation, does it not? 
Of course. So if you could choose then to act differently about anything, imagine how you could choose to behave mentally, physiologically, physically, in a manner that is advantageous, in a manner that brings you direct fulfillment, where you can live life to the fullest instead of by default. Does this make sense to you? Of course. <laughs> so now go and enjoy your life in a new and more peaceful way. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this very healing meditation today.